Thousands ignore a ban on protests and choose to hit the streets anyway. It's been two days since the prime minister stepped down. The resignation of Hamdok will not affect our position. What is built on falsehoods will remain wrong, and the coup from the very beginning was wrong. The demands of the protest movement are still united, and we are holding the flag of the resistance committee in different locations, sects and cultures. There's been protests like this since October's military takeover, when Prime Minister Abdullah Hamdok was sacked, then reinstated a few weeks later. This is one episode of many previous protests that all condemn the military coup. We're trying to continue the course of our revolution and achieve complete civilian rule. Those are the people's demands. Fewer bridges were closed ahead of Tuesday's protests, and protesters weren't cut off from the internet. A slight de-escalation in a cycle of violence that's claimed around 60 lives in the past three months. The UN Security Council has told Al Jazeera it may soon take up the issue. Uh, we, we are very concerned about, uh, about uh, the, the violence used against peaceful uh, demonstrators. We have taken notice of uh, Hamdak's uh, resignation, uh, and, but we still would and continue to encourage the military and the civilian uh, 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 leaders of, uh, of uh, Sudan to, to, to get together and to find uh, a, a way forward. The civilian prime minister stepped down because he said he was unable to bring people together to agree a path forward. And it still remains unclear who will. Andrew Chappelle, Al Jazeera.